Hey, Jeremiah, we are, we are on, we're going to finish up science. I know it's Bible time, but we're going to get this done on science because we need to finish it. Austin, can we have your cooperation? We always get a little crazy fun in the afternoons. We're trying to tame it down. Bring it in, bring it to center. KJ, bring it to center, be at peace. All right, we just just talked about glossary. So we found our glossary in this page in the book. So if you get your science book out, Jeremiah, the glossary is on page what, Preston? Nope. Nope, the glossary. Honey, it would help if you turned around and looked at your book. Brianna, can you give me the glossary page again? 235. Here, I'll show you, Jeremiah, what it looks like. See it right there? And there's the page number. 235. And these are a lot of the words in a book that have definitions to them. So if we are looking for a science term, which we are right now, we want to know what volume means, we can look in the glossary. So the beginning of the glossary is on page 235. But the word volume begins with what letter, Austin? V. V. So this is a challenge, a race. Who can raise their hand when you, when you find the page that has a V on it? What page would volume be on in my glossary? Raise your hand. Let's see who can find it first. Kylie, do you have the page number? Raise your hand. KJ, do you have it? I love that hand in the air. Kylie. Kylie. KJ, did you find it? What page? Kylie. Okay, we'll give it to Preston. Preston, do you have it? Yes, sir. Tell us what it is. Yes, sir. Air five to Preston. Nice job. The page is 241. Now let's have let's have Jeff. Can you please read the definition for volume? Mm -hmm. Yes. What is volume? KJ and Brianna. Do we need to do it again? Okay. Turn just turn around. Turn around, put your knees forward, scoot your chairs up. What do you mean you are, Jeff? The, of the amount? The amount of right. Or number two, the or softness. The Oh, volume has two definitions. That's why they've got the one and the two. Because we know that volume is the amount of space an object takes up. That's what we just studied. But isn't volume also that thing when you turn on your radio and you turn it this way to make it louder and you turn it this way? Right. So this, this word actually has two definitions. Now, when we do our page and we have to write down the volume, which one are we going to write down? The amount of space an object takes up or the loudness or softness of a sound? The loudness or softness. No, because that's not what we're talking about on our page today. We're talking about the amount of space that an object takes up. So when you do this, you are going to write definition number one, the amount of space that an object takes up. Now, I need to switch my screen and pull this up for Jeremiah. I'd like to know which of my students can write this answer on their worksheet before I get back. KJ, KJ, put your mask on and come sit back here. KJ, 
JJ, put your mask on and come back here. KJ, I need this to happen now. KJ, KJ. Turn around, please. Turn around, please. Turn all the way around, please. Thank you. All right. Let's see what we got. Here it is. This is what I am looking for. Oh, better do this first. Sounds like our neighbors are crazy too today. Are you getting it? Good. Kylie, are you getting it, sweet girl? Austin, I got this, please. Thank you. Austin, did you get it? Great. Brianna, did you get it? Great. Preston, did you get it? Great. Have a seat, sweet darling. Jeff, did you get it? Fantastic. And Kylie is still working on it. KJ, how about you? Good. Very good. That's what I like to hear. All right. And number two says what? Jeff. What? Number two on our paper. Oh. Uh, what? Metric units. Of measurement. Volume. And if you turn your brain back to when Mrs. Perkins was in here, you can maybe remember where we found those on the page. Now, are we going to find this answer in the glossary? No, no we're not going to find it in the glossary because we're not looking for the definition of something. So for this, we need to go back into our actual chapter. And I believe it was 85 and 80. Oh, there it is right at the top. Right up here, 86 and 87. So I am looking for clue words, units of measurement. That's some clue words that you should look for in your book on page, probably page 86 or 87. Austin, I'm really hoping that you can find those for me, okay? See what you can find. Why are you hoping that I can? Because I'd like to hear your answer. Units of measurement. And I see it right there. Oh, oh, oh. What? Page 86. What units of measurement are used to measure volume? Two words, and it just so happens that one of them is bold and one of them is italicized. <laughs> Look at what I circled on the board, sweet darling. Look on the board. Brianna, look up on the board. Did you find it, Austin? Yeah. What are they? One of them is bold and one of them is italicized. 86. 
Who can find that bold faced word in a, in page 86? Is it no bold? That's the italicized ones. That's the slanty one, but that's one oh, of them. Oh, What's the leader. other one? I know what it is. What's the it's other one? Leader. Okay. Give, give them to me, Austin. Leader. They're leader. And, and milla. Millimeter. Milliliter. Great. Have a seat. Leader and milliliter. Which one of those is written in bold? <gasps> Preston? Which one of those two words is written in bold? Look on your book. Which one sticks out? Dark print. Liter or milliliter? It is the liter. Kylie's got it. Kylie, Kylie, would you go up and show Preston where it is for me? Did you find it? Yeah. Jeff, did you find it? She knows where it's at because she just said it. Both face words, point your eyes. Sticking right out. If it's a snake, it's going to bite you. The one that's sticking out. L -I -L -I -L -R. Mm -hmm. That's right, Kylie. Okay? Get them written down. Liter and milliliter. Write it right now. Liter, milliliter. Find them, Jeff. Oh. I wrote it on the board. Oh, what? And of these two, which is bigger? Brianna, I want you to look in your book because this next question is for you. Okay. Which is bigger? Raise your hand, KJ. I think you've got a good answer here. Raise your hand. Which one is bigger, liter or milliliter? Brianna. Uh, milliliter. Milliliter. Read. Find the word milliliter in your book. Look for the word milliliter. When you find the word milliliter, Brianna, put your finger I on it. it. Put your finger on it. Read the words that are around it. Milliliter and milliliters. Keep going. Measured. Eight. Keep going backwards to the beginning of that sentence. Small. <gasps> uh huh. Say it. Smaller. Amount of blankets are milliliters. Oh, stop. What's that first word again? Small. Smaller. Oh, so which is bigger, meter or milliliter? Milliliter. Liter. Liter is bigger. So which is meter, bigger? Liter is bigger. Liter. Kylie, science stresses you out, doesn't it? Because we go fast in science. Fast, fast, fast. Why is she crying? Excuse me. Is that your concern? I don't think so. All right. The next thing it asks us to do is do an experiment and answer some questions here. We're not um, we're not going to do these over here. 
We're not going to measure these, but we are going to use this picture down at the bottom to answer the questions. Now, look at picture number one. See it right here? Okay. Everybody put your finger on picture number one. I need you to describe this picture to me. What do you see in this picture? KJ. I see a water in a, mm -hmm. um, a, milli, a milliliter. Milliliter, you're doing great. Milliliter, I'm sorry, how much higher is the water? Okay. They go like small. It looks like they're going to do an experiment, doesn't it? Okay, so KJ says that there is water in this container. Do you see it? Yes or yes. no? Yes. Yeah. Okay. How much water is in this container? Uh, it is. Oh. Oh. If you raise your hand, it's good. Austin, do you know? I know you know, so I'm coming back to you. Look where the line of the water is. It's at 300. Yes. 300 what, KJ? KJ? 300 what? Hot dogs or milliliters? 300 milliliters. Milliliters. That's right. 300 milliliters. Now, what is sitting right down here beside that container, Kylie? What is that, Kylie? What is this? What is that thing? What do you think that is, Jeff? What is that sitting right down there on your page? Be at peace. Preston, what is this thing right here? What is it's a ball? So they're going to measure the mass of the ball using the water. And we talked about that yesterday. So if the ball is sitting beside the, the container and the water is at 300 milliliters, what happens when they drop the ball in? Now look at it. See this one? Yes. So look at it, Preston. You're if you get a little bit of water, so I can make water. Very good. Now you're right, Preston. So now look at it. Look at the after. The ball is in the water. Do you see it, Preston? Jeff, hang on. Look on your book. Or on your page, not on the, look on your page, honey, you've got to quit yelling at me. Look on your page, Jeff, look on your worksheet. See it? It's, did they not put it in there? No, I see it, but I don't feel it's there. Yeah, you probably won't be able to see it. Okay. Austin, do you see it? Okay. Well, so now I need Brianna. Brianna, how high is the water now? I can't see that. Look on your worksheet. It's going to be clear on your worksheet. Oh, 350. So 300. How do, how do I decide how much volume? the ball has. Mm, let's find out. Let's do it. Let's look on number six. Look on number six. Kylie, can you read number six for me? What is the volume of the water before adding the ball? KJ, you answered that one. What is the answer? It flowed down to the bottom. No, sweetheart. What? How much is the water? Where was the water when, before we added the ball? You gave me a number. It was three it was down to three hundred. Now it's down to three hundred. Okay. So, right, but hang on just a minute. Don't jump ahead. Question six, six wants to know. How much was in it before we added the ball? That answer is 300 milliliters. Please write that in. 
Austin, look up on the board. I'm going to circle it for you. See it? See where I'm circling? Now look on your worksheet. Do you see it on your worksheet? Okay. 300 is the answer. 300. Mm -hmm. Now seven says what? Uh, let's have Jeff read that for me. Number seven. KJ, sit up. What is it, Jeff? Do you know? No, yeah, no. Look right here. Look up. Look up at the board. And now look down at your paper. Where is the water? Yes. 350. You got this. You got this. 350. Get it written down. You are smart. So, Brianna, you're my math whiz. If, excuse me, sir, if together they are 350 and the water is 300, how do I find the volume of the ball? Do I add or subtract? Uh, no, you were right the first time. I am going to subtract. So what is my big number, 350 or 300? So that is where I make my subtraction problem. 350 minus what, Austin? Minus Austin? Austin? Austin, look on the board to where I'm circling. Oh, 300. There you go. Wait, that's that's the big thing. What? No. That little big thing. The big thing. The, what a big thing. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right. And now we can do it. Can Zero. It? Can you? Yeah. Okay. So try this, Brianna. Try this. Raise your hand. And wait for me to call on you. I'm gonna look over here. I'm gonna look over here. Oh, Brianna's got her hand up. Brianna, what can I do for you? Can I do yes, I'd love for you to do it. Thanks for raising your hand. <laughs> All right, Brianna, what is zero minus zero? Yes. Brianna, what is five minus zero? Oh, I'll put the X on my paper. Okay. Okay. Jimmy is grids. Five minus zero, Brianna. Zero. Five. five take away zero. Five. Five. There you go. Good job. And what's three minus three? Three. Three minus three. Three take away three. That's zero. Zero. It is zero. So do I have to write anything here? No, no not really. No. So. What is my volume of the ball? KJ, I keep wanting to call on you, but you're not really even close to doing what we're doing. Okay, so let's see if you can get there so I can call on you. Kylie, what is my answer? Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna move this up so we can write 50. Yes, ma'am. 50. It's so hard to get if she write the first time. Wow, it's I'm 50. KJ, please stop talking. Okay. I have written this down, yes? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I think that's it. I'm going to. Stop the share on this for you, Jeremiah. We love you. We may or may not. I'm going to try to get to Bible, but we've only got five minutes. I think we can do it. I'll see you in five minutes. Bye-bye.